Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are going to see how the Vector 666 watt hour lithium power station powers a 60VL ice co dual zone refrigerator. And we're also going to see how my Jeep Cherokee 115 watt inverter plug that's in the Jeep will charge this unit. I do have my ISCO pre-cooled. It's been plugged into the house all night. This is a big unit. Takes up my whole hatch area just about. And when, yeah, dual battery setup. I had to put a seat down just to be able to get the power source and the refrigerator in here. And as you can see, I've got the refrigerator and the power unit in the back and both seats are up and I still got room back here so that's one good thing about these units this is the first time I've actually used one of these power units so without wasting a lot of time let's go ahead and swap the refrigerator from 12 volt to the DC power unit you see you push the button hold it for a couple seconds and it comes on and you can see I'm at 99%. It's almost fully charged. I've already got the 12 volt plug plugged into the 12 volt 10 amp there. And I'm just going to unplug the electrical cord. And you can see it's swapping over. Well, I got to turn the power on here. DC. Just tap it. I heard the refrigerator click. And I said it was already pre-chilled, so what I'm gonna do is open up one of these doors. Let's do the freezer side until it kicks on. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Let's just turn it down some more. Mode, let's turn this down to there. Let's turn that down to there. And that should kick on. Now I also have this at max setting here. I just heard the compressor kick on. And running with the compressor kicked on. This will run it for... says 11 to 9 hours. And I said that's both sides of this refrigerator. Temperature's turned down, so the compressor kicked on. So the compressor will not run continually. So while it's running, let's go ahead and start the Jeep and see what kind of difference we get. Okay, this unit is plugged into my inverter plug in my Jeep Cherokee. The motor is running. It is powering this unit. And it's actually putting charge to the unit. So if I'm seeing this right right now, we're actually putting more into the unit than the ice co is pulling and like i said right now the this is running so let's go back up to where this is going to cut off just give this a minute Alright, it just the compressor kicked off and that kicked back up. It's still charging. Now we only have 10 minutes till this is gonna be full. So let's unplug our juice. So now we have no juice going to it. The compressor on the refrigerator is not running, so right now it's not pulling any juice. Let's 
Let's turn these back down. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to eco mode. That's what I normally use when I'm traveling. The compressor is running. No juice going to the battery. We're looking with the compressor running eight to ten hours of runtime. So it'll get you through a night if you don't have anything hooked up to it. But uh, I have a solar plug ordered. So uh, during the day, this will be hooked up to 200 watts of solar, which is your maximum amount allowed. I think it is up to uh, 30. I think my solar panel is 21 volt. And this can go up to 30, I believe, input. Twelve hours till empty. So it's gonna run it and then you plug it back in and you're actually putting charge to it. So we'll play with this some more. I said we will be using it this weekend and uh, see how it does. Now, uh, during the day, it'll be on solar, so you're not going to be pulling really a lot of power off of this unit. The only time you're going to pull power from the unit will be during the night. And like I said, when it's up at 99%, and you're running it, even with the compressor running, when it's not running, you know, you just don't pull much juice. 14 hours and the compressor is still running 11 hours the lowest I saw it go was eight hours So I feel confident that this thing will run this refrigerator through the night with no power going to it And you shouldn't have no power getting it recharged the next day if you have good Sun or if you have uh, the ability to plug it into the vehicle and drive or if you're at a site that you might have electricity. But I just wanted to show you that this little unit will run the ice coat. And go back up to where I had it on. I think it was about there. about there actually this side over here I had to be careful on this because if you don't get it just right this side will freeze we'll try right there for now and you see that the uh, it's pulling right now that's why that's 11.6 volts compressor must have just shut off now you're at 12.2 volts and then we come over here you're going to be charged in nine minutes. Input power 4.8 watts. So it's not a lot coming in from that inverter plug, but I think it's enough that it would maintain it. Now, I haven't looked I do have a 12 volt plug there and I can also plug this refrigerator in right there when I'm traveling and it'll just run off the alternator. So basically if you're traveling you know you run it there and then at night time you just swap over and plug it in to this and just leave this plugged in that way it's charging. But time's going to show how well this runs. And I guess while we're at it, let's go ahead and plug into the AC outlet. So, bear with me. Plug plugged in. So we're going to turn off the DC. You see, you should be able to tap that. And so, we're going to turn on the AC. The 
refrigerator just swapped over. It's now plugged into the AC side of the unit. Let's go ahead and make it run. Just kicked on. Sit. Pressure's running. So it'll run it there too. I don't think it's as efficient running it this way though. And then let's see what happens when I completely take charge off of it. Now we're just pulling it off the AC side, unplugged. And we still got 11 hours runtime, and that's compressor running. And on the DC side, it actually dropped to 8 hours. So far, it's not dropping on this side. Compressor still running. Now it may cut off. It's hard to hear it with the Jeep running, so let me go turn the Jeep off and then we'll see. Okay, I definitely hear the compressor running. I don't know if you guys can or not. We have no charge going to the power unit. We are on the D, uh, the, I'm sorry, the AC side. Let's just completely unplug. We're plugged into the AC outlet. And look at that, it's saying we've got output of 4.7 watts and time till empty is 12.2 hours. We're down 98%, it was at 99, it was close to 100%. Now let's cut the compressor off again. Compressor still running, it just shut off. That jumped up 26.6. Now we come back over here, and when it's not running, time till empty, 73 hours, and it's with no inverter running. So see the 11 hours that it said it could run it with the inverter or the compressor running. Uh, your time's going to be up because that compressor is not going to run full time all the time. So yeah, uh, you know, uh, I did an unboxing video. You can go check that out. It shows everything that's in the box. And uh, we have links in the description of that video. And I'll have links in the description of this video. Uh, Tractor Supply, Home Depot, I think Lowe's all handle this unit haven't really heard a whole lot about this one you know you always hear Jackery and uh, some of the other ones but uh, this company reached out to me and said that they would send me one if I tried out and do some reviews so I of course said I would and from what I'm seeing right now it's going to do what I want to do still powered in the fridge and we use it to charge camera gear and st stuff like that. But this right here was the main thing I wanted it for. By the time you put dual batteries in this vehicle, you're looking at a lot of extra weight and a lot of extra room and more components to be able to uh, get the solar and to charge the batteries and to be able to run this. Plus, I had an inverter on the pack that I built, so that was even more weight. And all this is built in. I think it's around 16 pounds, and it's small. I have more room than I've ever had in here when I have to put the dual batteries in. But this definitely has its place. And for this Cherokee, 
when I'm running a refrigerator and just charging camera gear and stuff, this is perfect. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Have you heard of Vector? Have you seen them in Walmart? Or Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply? Do you have one? What do you think about it? Let us know. And we'll keep you all informed on how it holds up. And show you some more uses that we'll be using it for. And show you some other charging methods. And uh, let me go over the plug in this Jeep too. Okay guys, this is about the plug that's in my Jeep, which is behind the back seats on the center console in the leg space of the rear passengers. It's 115 volt 150 watt inverter outlet located at the back of the center console to convert DC current to AC current. This outlet can power cell phones, electronics, and other low power devices requiring power up to 150 watts. It's not going to be a lot, but as you just saw, it is enough that it powered that refrigerator or it powered charging the inverter. You saw the numbers. So, I just thought I would share. So, we know the Victor lithium power station can power this refrigerator all night long. I think we pretty much proved that. The next question is going to be, how long will it take to recharge the power station the next day while it's still running the refrigerator. Those tests will be in the future.